Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and in today's Skincare Saturday, we have a smackdown. A smackdown is happening today. What are we smacking down? Well, I'll tell ya. It's kind of more of a cheap versus expensive. Is expensive better? Is cheap better? Are they both the same? Do they both do nothing? Who knows? But we're gonna find out in today's face mask smackdown. Okay, so here's the story. Now, we've done many a face mask smackdown. Not many, maybe like two. But I received in my Ipsy face masks from Star Skin. I, sh I say face masks as if it's plural. It's not. I got one face mask from Star Skin, and then I got one foaming peeling puff from Star Skin. We're gonna check out how much these are, but I also have Pond's face mask that I got at the grocery outlet for $1.49. And we are going to also test, I wouldn't call it expensive because they're very reasonably priced, which we've seen these before. Miss Spa Firm and Lift Smile Lines, and that is going up against the FBL Smile Line Lifting Patch that I got at the grocery outlet for 99 cents. So we have in our cheap corner, Pons and FBL versus Star Skin and Miss Spa. I know, it's kind of exciting. Wait till you see what I have planned. It's like legit Smackdown. So let's just talk about the expensive brands first. We have the Star Skin Close Up Firming Biocellulose Face Mask right here. On the Star Skin website, you guys are gonna shit the bed. It's called skinstore.com. Same picture right here. It is $10. $10, but you know, you can get 15% off if you use code DEFENSE at checkout, so that's a plus. One face mask, $10. I know, right? We're putting that up against our Pons, Pons, Pons. Yeah, Hydrate and Firm Sheet Mask. Reason being, in my mind, both of these masks claim to do the same thing. Firming, hydrate and firm. Instantly hydrate and help firm for lifted youthful skin. This one says, doesn't say anything. <laughs> it doesn't actually. Let's see what the website says. Lifts and sculpt for a supple youthful appearance. So see, the same thing. Walmart says that you can get this face mask for $2.42. That is a far, far cry from the $10 star skin ones. We're gonna go firming, firming. How are we gonna do that, you ask? I'm gonna cut them in half. Okay, hold the phone, people. On the Smile Line patches, I was thinking Miss Spa was gonna be our most expensive and Epiel would be our cheap version, but boy, was I wrong. I went on to the Miss Spa website. The Firm and Lift Gel Smile Line Mask is $3. Then I went to find the Epiel slash K-Beauty Smile Line Lifting Patch. It's at the Walmart for $12.20. I'm not even joking you right now. Let's look somewhere else other than the Walmart. Look at this, Open Sky, one of them, $11. Holy crap. So it looks like Epiel is our expensive brand and Miss Spa is our cheap brand. So yeah, very interesting there. Boy, was I wrong. We are going to be putting the cheap version on the cheap side underneath our Pond's firming mask and the Epiel version on the expensive side underneath our Star Skin firming mask. We're just gonna do one patch, one patch. I, I, Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sidetracked and I'm floored that the Walmart and other places want 11 or $12 for this. I literally bought this for 99 cents and it says $1.49. Like I'm floored. One treatment, $11. I'm not joking. Am I crazy? I must be. But there you have that. So let's get into it. What are we doing? Before we put these expensive versus cheap smackdowns to the test, what I wanted to do was try this Star Skin Foaming Peel Puff. And just to be clear, the Star Skin Foaming Peeling Perfection Puff is $10 as well. We're gonna use this 
prior to putting on our face masks and our smile line masks. Then we're just gonna see what happens. Let's do it. It says cleanse face and pat dry. Tear open both sachets and pour peeling liquid into large sachet. Add a few drops of water, squish to work up a lather. Gently massage skin in circular motions for two to three minutes. Puff can be stored in sachet for up to three uses. Well, that's good. So at least it's not $10 one and done like this baby right here. Let's first wash our face. We're going to take a before picture. To wash my face, I'm going to use my Duval Spin Care Situation. And I'm also, because I still have it, I'm going to use my Brownies Face Wash because we know this doesn't have anything to do with anti-aging. So, Let's wash the face. Face is washed and before pictures have been taken. Now, I know my intro was a little all over the board and it seems like I don't know what I'm doing. Don't worry, I do know what I'm doing. I was just really floored at the fact that Epiel is more expensive than Miss Spa. I'm on track now. Now that our face is washed, we are going to start with the Star Skin Foaming Peeling Puff. Now, what is it supposed to do? Let's read about it. It's a unique patented peeling and exfoliating puff that removes pore clogging dead skin cells that cause dull skin. A blend of natural alpha hydroxy acids and carrot and broccoli extracts create a rich lather that effectively and safely slough away dead skin to help visibly reduce wrinkles and brighten skin tone. Skin glows. <laughs> As if lit from within, the secret to flawless, radiant celebrity skin is now revealed. <laughs> you think um, Nicole Kidman and Gwen Stefani are using this? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, let's get the glow that's lit from within with this peeling puff. We need to tear open both sachets. There's one and sachet away. Anybody? Anybody at all. And then inside, oh, we have a little puff, sachet number two. Pour the peeling liquid into the large sachet. What I don't get is if you can use it three times, how do you seal this back? It's not like they gave you a zipper seal. For $10, you think it would include a zipper seal. Because what am I going to precariously like fold this down or paper clip it or something? And what if all the juices fall out of it? That's no good to me with no juice. It's liquidy in there. It's not a lot of liquid. It smells a lot like lemon pledge, if you ask me. So I'm gonna pour this into here. You know my thoughts on liquid in a bag. I'm not a fan, but maybe this will be different. Squeezed it all out. Add a few drops of water into the sachet. A few drops? What's a few? Uh, three drops of water? That doesn't make much sense. I'm just gonna slightly turn on the faucet and just put like a smidge of water in. I'll do like, if your faucet has a leak, that's how I'm turning it on, okay. I did three leaky faucets. Squish, squish, squish to work up a lather. I'm assuming I put this in here and then I squish to work up a lather. So I'm gonna put this in here and we'll just, I don't know, this doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna fold this down, squish and shake. Shake it up, squish it up, working up a lather. Let's see if a lather has formed. Oh, yeah. A lather has formed. You see that lather? Okay, good. And it's all over that puff. Gently massage skin in circular motion for two to three minutes. Here's my lathery puff. Here we go. Circular motions. Concentrating. What are we supposed to concentrate on? Forehead. Oops, I'm squishing too much and lather's going everywhere. Forehead and nose. Can we do the neck too? Nose. Oh my gosh, lather is getting everywhere. The puff doesn't feel like it's exfoliating. The puff feels very smooth, very smooth indeed. Almost like, do you need the puff? Could you just use your hands, I wonder? Ah, do you see what's happening? Oh yeah, yeah. There's so much lather on the backside. We definitely need to slough off our dead, oh my God, our dead skin cells so that we can achieve that radiant glow from within. Okay. I think it got in my eye a little bit right here. It's a little burning. Be careful of the eye situation, but two to three minutes is definitely a long time. I kind of want to say I feel burning. Ah, 
on my skin? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that for sure. Caution, avoid direct contact with eyes. Well, it's hard when the phone's going everywhere. This product contains alpha hydroxy, which may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun. Good thing it's winter time. That's all it says. It doesn't say you'll feel like a burning sensation. All right, we have 15 seconds left to go of this, and then we should look super radiant and have a glow from within. That'd be cool. And we're done. So let me store the sachet. I was just thinking, should I rinse this sachet or just put it, I should probably rinse this, right? Rinse our face, rinse this clean, and then we'll put that back in there. Puff and face are rinsed, and now I must pat dry. I will say, be careful on the rinsing because that's when I felt like it really got in my eyes. So yeah, watch out for that. Okay, did we slough away all of my dead skin cells? <laughs> Do I have a glow from within? Should I turn off the lights to see if I have a glow from within? I don't know about that. Let's take a really good look here. I mean, cleaner. I guess, right? It doesn't really feel any smoother than when I just got done using my spin care brush. So I wouldn't say there's any difference in my texture. I think it's all the same. I don't know if for $10, now I know I just did it one time and that it says that you can do it one to two times per week. And that little $10 sachet has three uses. It does say that it's supposed to slough off our dead skin to visibly reduce our wrinkles, well, after one use, I'm not sure if I would say that. My wrinkles are still there. They're still quite visible. Would I pay $10 for that? No, probably not. But it was fun to give it a try. Now on to the smackdown. So in this corner are cheaper face masks against this corner where we have our more expensive face masks. Place your bets in the comments below right now. Who do you think will win? Is cheap? better than expensive? Or is it that old saying, you get what you pay for. So the more you pay, the better it works. Or because these are face masks, neither one of them are going to do shit. What do you guys vote for? So first we need to put on our smile line face masks. This little guy right here smooths fine lines, replenishes hydration, boosts elasticity for $11 up against Miss Spa. For three dollars. It's going to reduce those pesky smile lines and help improve the appearance of sun damaged skin. Okay, grr eight. Let's get them on. Oh wait, what's that guy? Let's get it on. I know there's a guy who says something like that. Let's get it on. You know, you know the guy I'm talking about. Let's get it on. While the descriptions were slightly different, I feel like both of these smile line patches pretty much do the same thing. Let's open up the EPL. We have two patches. Voila. Little crescent at the top. So this one fits like this. Oh, actually, let's change it up. The most expensive side is going to be the two earring side because two diamonds are more expensive than one diamond. The EPL, the more expensive, the $11 Smile Line mask is going to go here. And the Miss Spa $3 patch is going to go on our cheap side here with the one earring. Here are our patches. Yeah, like so. Now, take a good look at these Smile Lines because if all goes well, they'll be vanished when this is over. Now this one is kind of gel-ish, like a silicone pad. So this goes up in here like so, has a little groove for right under your nostril. Boom, press that on. Sticks pretty good. I say we're okay. Now the EPL peel off, it's protective coating and it kind of is silicone-y as well, but it has like a little bit of a paper front, little bigger, getting a little bit more line action with the EPL when compared to the Miss Spa. This one's going out way far, but they both kind of come in the same amount around the nose area. Get those pressed in there. And now it's time for our face masks. So our expensive star skin firming mask says, it is supposed to lift and sculpt for a supple youthful appearance. Leaves skin flawless and ready for the most high definition close up. Okay. And we leave it on for 20 minutes. All of these are leave on for 20 minutes. So we're good there. Going up our cheap ponds, hydrates and helps firm skin, leaving it looking lifted and youthful. Who could ask for more? So what we're going to do, I'm going to open them, lay them out, and I'm going to cut them directly in half. We're going to put the expensive one on the two earring side and the cheap one on the one earring side. It's 
get her on out. Oh, just like any other sheet mask. So I'm gonna cut it directly down the middle here. Cutting it right down the middle. There is a protective thing on this side as well. And the mask is very gelatiny like Look at it. Uh-oh, there goes my one smile line. Hold on, we'll put it back. Over the top of our FBL, right down the center. Ooh, it feels, it feels, it feels slimy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, good. I need you back on, dude. Let's open up the pawns one. Here it is. Oh, now you can tell this one is cheap already. No paper backing divider, just paper folded in on itself. Ah, it makes it a little difficult to get apart. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, just a regular old cheap face mask. Let's cut this one directly in half as best I can. Let's get the cheap side going. Looks good there, Miss Spa. Good, line it up, get it all smooth. Yay, <gasps> there we have it. Expensive versus cheap. Who will win? We won't know for 20 minutes, so I'll be back. Okay, we are back. It has been 24 minutes to be exact. Now, first off, I will say, I am feeling a little you get what you pay for vibe in just the initial face mask experience. The more expensive star skin face mask is definitely nicer to the touch than the cheaper Pons face mask. It was more pleasant to remove from the packaging. It was easier. The little like kind of silicone jelliness of it is really nice. It really does like adhere to your skin. Do you see how there's like no wrinkling? Whereas like a paper mask kind of folds and wrinkles up on itself. The same thing I think would apply to the $11 Epiel Smile Line Mask compared to the $3 Miss Spa Smile Line Mask. The Epiel overall, you saw it, was way more sticky. The Epiel stood up to my talking where the Miss Spa just fell right off. Now, now, I am a Miss Spa fan, and I think these smile line patches that I've tried before from Miss Spa worked wonderfully. But just off of first impressions, getting it out of the package, applying it to my skin, the feel of it, the more expensive side is definitely better. I even feel like right now, the cheaper version side is hanging on by a thread. Whereas I could like do household chores and I feel like it'd be totally secure. So if we were doing like a scorecard, most expensive side, both of them, Epiel and Star Skin, get a one for first impressions. This, not so much. But let's take them off and see what's underneath. Don't forget, both of these face masks are firming. We should see lifted, firm skin as we peel them off. Oh, look at, see the Miss Spa Smile Line one wants to come right off. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah, that's a thing. That's an issue. And I love Miss Spa. This one's stick is good, that FBL. Is it $11 good? I don't think so, but... It's good. Let's pat everything in. What are our first impressions? We've got to take after pictures so we can compare, but let's see. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. For $3, even though it wasn't sticking that great and it fell right off twice, the Miss Spa Smile Line, it really does something. Doesn't this look way better than this one? I mean, I know they weren't identical smile lines to begin with, but even not being identical, this one looks way, way shorter than this one. It's almost as if the FBL one did absolutely nothing and the Miss Spa did a little bit of something, don't you think? Now, as far as firmness right off the bat, okay, you guys might think I'm crazy, but we're gonna have to definitely refer to the afters. Doesn't this side look a little bit more firm? Look at my like jowly area. Don't you feel like way down? And don't you feel like a little bit more up? Am I wrong? Let's take the afters and find out. Okay, 
See if you guys agree with me. First overall impression when I took the masks off, I thought definitely the one earring, the cheaper version side looked better overall. After scrutinizing the befores with the afters, I will say this. The Miss Spa Smile Line Patch compared to the Epiel Smile Line Patch, I think Miss Spa wins. <laughs> Cheaper is better than expensive when it comes to these two brands and their Smile Line Patches. I'm still a fan of Miss Spa. I think there was a way bigger difference in this Smile Line compared to this Smile Line, and there's no way in hell I would pay $11 for any smile line, to be quite honest. But just knowing the fact that you can pay $3 and get better results than when you pay $11, I think there's a lot to be said for that. Definitely cheaper is better, or shall I say more expensive is not necessarily better at all when it comes to smile line patches. As far as firming, what do I think? Here's what I think. I think after scrutinizing both the befores and the afters, I actually don't see any difference at all in either one of them. When I first took it off, I thought I may have seen a little bit of something, but I think that was just my mind playing tricks on me. Looking at the before and after, I don't think there's a difference at all. So in this case, would I purchase the Pons firming face mask over the Star Skin firming face mask? Hell yeah, I would. Would I really purchase either one of these to firm my face up? Probably not, because I don't think either one of them did what they said they would do. So yeah, I think it's a draw between expensive versus cheap as far as firming face masks go. There you have it. So what did we learn today? We learned that just because you pay more doesn't mean it's gonna work better. Sometimes cheaper is better, not only for your pocketbook, but also for your face. So out of all of the face masks that we've tried today, I am only going to choose one, and it's the Miss Spa Firm and Lift Smile Line Patches for 100%. For $3 all day or day. I think it makes a huge difference. Now, again, my disclaimer, we all know these face masks, whether they work right when we take them off and we see results right when we take them off, the fact of the matter is these face masks do not provide long-term permanent results. They're simply for a little zhuzh, kind of an instant lift, an instant refresher that isn't gonna last you very long at all. You'll be lucky to have the effects last, in my opinion, throughout an event. <laughs> I'm just being real real. Now, are face masks fun? Are they relaxing? Why yes, yes they are. But if you are looking for any sort of a result from a face mask, just know you don't have to spend a lot of money because expensive does not mean better. You heard it here first on This Is Real Life with Sherry. Don't go out and buy expensive face masks because the cheap ones are just as good, if not better. So there you have it. <laughs> face mask smackdown. Results concluded, confirmed. Cheaper is better. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to ring that notification bell so you are alerted to all of the Skincare Saturday videos I push out, which is every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Make sure you share this video with your family and friends. And as always, thanks for hanging out.